Welcome to Dare to Dream. This is Debbie Dashinger. I've got somebody amazing here today, as always, always looking forward to these kind of quantum conversations, little seed I dropped there, because today's show features Anna Leverance, who's a quantum leap facilitator and multidimensional quantum healer. This is Dare to Dream with Debbie Dashinger. The show won the COVR Award for Best Radio and Podcast Show, listed in Welp Magazine as one of the top 20 best podcasts to listen to this year, listed as a top self-improvement show on Apple Podcasts, nominated for two People's Choice Podcast Awards, and a Webby Award. This show is sponsored by Dr. Dane here in Access Consciousness. They do energy work out in the world. You can become a facilitator or go to one of their classes. Go to Dr. Dane here, H E E R dot com or accessconsciousness.com. I'm Debbie Dashinger, and I teach spiritual entrepreneurs the action steps to write a highly engaging book. I am a book writing coach. I also have a company that takes authors' books to a guaranteed international best selling status and it's fully done for you. And finally, I teach you how to be interviewed on radio and podcast and get massive results. For all of us spiritual entrepreneurs shifting into 5D and ascension, our visibility is imperative. And this is why I teach what I do. If you want to start out with a free gift, I've got one for you. It's got templates and videos so you can start doing this yourself. Go to debbie-inger.com slash gift. It's D-E-B-B-I. D-A-C-H-I-N-G-E-R dot com slash gift. So yes, my special guest today is Anna Leverance. She's the founder of the Quantum Way of Being and creating, creating Quantum Magic Miracles. The path of Anna's life was full of challenges with sudden and unexpected change. And while on that tumultuous path, she mastered the art of change and began creating the impossible. Anna is highly gifted at perceiving unobvious connections and unexpected possibilities. Anna is a passionate coach, a mentor for successful change, and teaches how to create quantum magic miracles. The result of Anna's work is transcending the blockages holding you back, releasing old fears, and healing your wounded heart and psyche, which gives her clients more freedom, joy, and fulfillment. She is a multidimensional quantum healer, a quantum leap facilitator, and a catalyst who holds space for the magical journey of deep and lasting change. You can learn more about Anna at quantumwayofbeing.com slash brilliance. And with that, I welcome the amazing Anna Leverance to Dare to Dream. It's great to see you, Anna. Great to see you, Debbie. Thank you for having me. It's really a pleasure. Yeah, it's crazy. I want to <laughs> just start with the crazy because you shared something before the show started and, and obviously it needs to be shared here because if you're going to make the claims you do, it's good if you live that, right? Are you living in the quantum? Are you living magic and miracles? And so I just want to start with my point of view, which I've been thinking about knowing we were coming up to this date. Um, I've known you for a little bit now, and you actually were in one of my classes. And every time we had a contest, and I ran, I would say, pretty damn good contests, like a very valuable, expensive private session with me and other things. So there were valuable prizes. And every time I ran a contest, and they were completely at different times, you won every single time. Like no one else <laughs> in the class had a chance. And so, and then you shared a story with me before we started about how you and I are even together. So why don't you share that so people understand? Yeah, sure. So uh, a while ago, some years ago, I came across your beautiful podcast and loved it. Mm -hmm. Watching it again and again, it was so inspiring. And one day there was this little voice and it told me, one day you will be Debbie's guest. I said, who? Dare to dream. What a brilliant name for the podcast. And yeah, I dare to dream. And around this time, uh, my guides told me something about the dreaming. Yeah, we know like dream big, dream big. Imagine what you can and dream big. And they said, well, that's great. But you know, this is actually a limitation. 
dream bigger, you know how. And I said, who? How? How to? Well, just bigger, you know how. Allow. And um, the only limit is your beliefs. It is not your imagination. We can imagine the most magnificent, wonderful things. And then there is these tiny beliefs programs stopping us. It, okay, dream bigger, you know how. The only limit is your belief. And we go from there, my guides and me. And I was working through this. And I think it is about 18 months uh, ago when I was working with somebody about my a change of my business name. And the result is this in this special writing. And uh, she said, oh, by the way, here's a message. Your guides are telling you, you are supposed to create your legacy. Okay, okay. I heard this two times after this and the second, let's say the third time I heard it, they also said, have you thought about how to share your wonderful program with a large audience worldwide? Mm -hmm. And I came to my mind, hmm, yeah, dare to dream, how to? How to, very simple. <laughs> One Saturday morning, just before I get up, I, I looked at my phone and got this YouTube little clip from Debbie offering her challenge I said hmm how timely yeah so i joined the challenge i learned so much it was amazing and i really recommend it and then there was oh by the way you can uh, when you go through all of this you can um, win the session a free session with her I said yeah cool me me i need it <laughs> and then um I won the session and I joined your program and yeah, the rest is history. It's incredible. You've come it is. so far, you've come so far, but also, you know, you're the perfect client. You're the kind of person I tend to attract the spiritual entrepreneur deep into the healing and you're hungry and willing. Like you don't know how mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. I'll show you how, right. You don't have to know the how you just have to say yes. And that's, mm -hmm. that's what I love about you. And um, something you just said was so powerful. I want to go back to that, where you said, the universe said to you, your guide said to you, dreaming is too small. You have to go beyond that. Mm -hmm. And there's something I said this morning, so it's like an amazing synchronicity. And I've been trying to remember to say this more, which is universe please give me more than I am willing to receive. Hmm. And if you could even say universe, please give me more than I'm willing to believe because it's all true. And so, wow, so many places I want to dive into, but let me go back to, so this is a beautiful, beautiful opening because I want people to first understand the space in which you live hmm. and you create. And, but I also, because, you know, we made note coming in, it wasn't always like this, right? Your life was full of challenges, sudden and unexpected changes. Can you give us a glimpse into what the challenges and changes entailed? And then how you got from these challenges and changes into living today in the quantum and miraculous realm? Well, to, just to give you an idea why this happened to me, because that was something I did not understand. And by the way, if somebody is looking for your for your uh, specialty, your your purpose or something, that might actually be something that is your fault that you're not good at. So with me. Um, so years ago, it was not that common that you had changed job, that you have to change uh, the, the city you work, you live in. All these changes and people said, hmm, you're so, you're not stable. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? No idea. And by the way, something that I really practiced and later learned when I asked this, okay, what's wrong? What, what is wrong? And ah, what's wrong? No, what, what is wrong? And then gu guidance gives you the answer. It's different. Like, okay, I want to know. Please show me. 
it's always please show me i don't know please show me how so uh, at a certain time uh, in a new company i had a colleague she was fond of astrology and we became friends and she asked me to do my my horoscope and yeah sure, sure i'm curious and then we said oh what a terrible terrible said okay what is it um in your in your first house you have uranus that is sudden unexpected change again and again and again how did you survive so far I said well somehow i did ah i see i see i see because in your horoscope there also is uh, jupiter conjunct with uranus meaning whatever mess you might encounter you have this good luck factor with you so this is what's guiding me through all kinds of stuff and pretty early on i i was guided from within because i did not really find understanding or something relating in the outside so i was really asking from within okay um how to how to and getting answers and being guided and so my most well there there were so many challenging things i i can read books write books about it and actually i i'm in the process of doing so um maybe you ask something i it, i otherwise i'm telling you a long story and well, we don't have that much yeah of course so um so it's fascinating to me because it sounds like what you're saying uh a lot of chaos basically and then you befriend somebody at work and she says oh i can look at your chart and then the chart basically says yeah your soul agreed on this but the good news is <laughs> there's going to be a lot of changes however you got a lucky star which is awesome thank god right it's not just more chaos so you're going to find your way through so you know there's a a new i understand that i've had that happen like with uh human design which so you know when somebody did a reading and i suddenly went oh my god there's so much about me that now that makes sense and how i'm supposed to work with people and so much less efforting so i get it that these things can be catalysts how how do you function now and and what is the quantum exactly? Explain that. Um, I have an energetic sense for it. And knowing that we were doing this interview, I sort of play, I've been playing in it. And I can tell you what I've been doing, <laughs> um, that I have been, like when I go to sleep, and, and I don't know it, like you know it, but I've just been going to sleep and laying there before I fall asleep and closing my eyes and just inviting myself into the quantum in a zero point. I put those words there because they energetically make sense to me. And I don't know that they do go together. And then I, it's like a blackness, a, a no thing. And into that no thing, I bring in the things I desire and the kind of life I want and everything about health, where I want to live, who I want to be with romantically, um, friends, travel, blah, 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 finances, business, all of it. And at some point I drift off. <laughs> and so, yeah, tell you me about that. You perfectly, you perfectly described it. I do not need to add much more. Maybe one little thing you can, if you want to work in the quantum for whatever, you can imagine and you want to understand how it works. You can think of it like um, you have a website and you can can think of the quantum like the source code of your website. Mm. So you want to, to change the, the writing, you want to change the pictures, whatever you want to change, you simply go to the background, to the source code of your of your website, which is the quantum, and then you can adjust anything. But be careful what you wish for, it might be given to you. <laughs> Oh, give an example so of that. What do, you, what do you mean by that? Who, who do you know, or was it you or a client who wished for something and it was a little much? I do not know. I I, I do not remember the details, but um, we have to understand that the the boost, the energy boost, is always the emotions, mm -hmm. or the emotions is the the, the coloring. Mm -hmm. So if you have a wonderful 
So you you have a mantra, you you re recite, and that's it. And then you say, oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. then you add this energy to your wonderful manifestation, and then you get this mm, less than brilliant. So this is one aspect. So really, you have to be very careful with the energy you you say what you do, whatever you do, because what you send out, you receive back. Mm. And um, mm. <laughs> so long ago, it was when the, uh, what is it, when you have your vision boards were just the, the greatest thing to have. I had a client and he loved it. And he had the idea, I want this particular brand of a car, very rare car, and I want it in, I don't know what color. And he could not find it because it is such a rare brand. He just took any he finally could find. There it was. Guess which color he manifested. Yeah. I know so this. So not only I, I just take it. Maybe, maybe he should have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. I once he, I wanted a Lexus sports car, you know, many years ago now, but I was really adamant. And it had to be a deep forest green and, you know, wood inside. Anyway, I went to this dealership and I asked them and they said, well, we could probably get you the year, but that, co that color, like, no, you know, most cars are basically white, blue, black, gray kind of thing. And they said, no, that it's, would probably be almost impossible. I went, okay, that's fine. Bye. <laughs> and I, actually at the time I had a vision board, but what I did with my vision board is that the same thing I would like go to sleep or wake up and see the different things on my vision board. And they called me a week later and said, you're not going to believe this, but we got the exact car you described. I'm like, yeah, I do. <laughs> I believe. And I will say also, Anna, when, um, when you describe the most important ingredient is the, is the um, emotions for the color it, you just explain something, you know, when I, I used to do marathons, right? 26.2 miles um, as a race walker. And I did two of them. I did really well. I did them in five hours. And uh, the second year I wanted to best my own time. I needed a new goal. And so I decided to take, I think like, I wanted to take like 30 minutes off of my time, which is like huge. It's kind of huge. And still every night for two weeks, I would lay in a bathtub soaking after training and I would envision the finish line and always, not only was it the time and going through the finish line, always was it with the joy, the elation, always the celebration of making it, doing mm -hmm. it. And come the day of that year's race, I went through the finish line. And when I looked up at the clock, I had cut one hour off of my, wow. which is, it's <laughs> almost not humanly possible. And when I got through that finish line, I burst into tears. The people who take the chip off your sneaker ran forward thinking something was terribly wrong. I'm like, no, no, I'm so happy. <laughs> but I believe now <laughs> hearing what you just said, it was the emotion that sealed the deal. Mm -hmm. I had the vision. Exactly. It was, yeah. Thank you for saying that. What that is, is really the fuel, the fuel and the fine tuning. Hmm. Tell me some other tenets of this miraculous way of being, this creation. Other what? I, I, I didn't hear it. Other yes. talents? Uh, uh, tenants, me, meaning um, tell me some other practices, if you will, for people to create in the quantum and miraculously, like really universe bring me beyond anything I can conceive. Where to start? To understand that goals are actually limitations. This is my goal. I run, I go for this. I don't look right, left or right. I So goals can be limitations. And that is why discipline fails. Hmm. And because why? Your soul says, hey, sweetie, we need some course correction. 
this goal no longer serves you. And when we look back at the last three years, there's many goals and dreams. They no longer are possible or no longer serve us. And that is why discipline does not work because soul says, no, sorry, that's not it. And what kicks in then is this horrible thing, procrastination. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had my own experience and, and you were sort of the, the suffering from this. I knew I had to give you my, my details and everything. I was not, I had it on paper. I was not able to send it. I said, hmm, yeah, procrastination. Procrastination is the lack of commitment. Am I not committed? Well, you are. Okay, what else is it? It is not the right thing. Not the right thing? Oh, oh. <laughs> so what is it? And going through my own process and really just flowing with it, expanding into it, dreaming bigger, I know how, and it suddenly, it all clicked, came together and said, okay, it was completely crap. This is not what is really relevant because what I live it myself and then it clicks and then I know how to present it to my clients and what is necessary. And what I came up with is embrace your brilliance and magnificence, which is a big one. But I think that is at the moment the only thing really worth going for because embrace it, meaning you not only own it, you, you start living it. And if you are not sure, like, okay, show me how to, what else do I need? What's in my way? What programs, what patterns, beliefs I need to let go of to really become aware of all my brilliance and my gifts and talents that had been, were, that were of no value to the old world, but we are moving into a new one. And suddenly all this weird stuff is of intense value. Like I know of a woman who always felt of how to put it she has an incredible gift which seemed to be anything but a gift she's extremely gifted uh, by her sheer presence and even in childhood to disrupt very harsh patterns frozen patternings yeah that is creating havoc if you will and so finally, uh, when we were working through her stuff, it is actually a gift because she is really somebody who can help her clients who are in a cement block, if you will, to re get out of it, help them with her special gift energy field to, to, yeah, to set them free. And with this idea and what is really needed, because many people are still stuck in the old belief, in the old paradigm, not knowing how to proceed, how to move on there. You cannot go to university and study how to master 5D. You have to, <laughs> to walk your way through it. And at a certain point, you quantum leap just to where you go, where, where you need to be. And yeah, and people, we are so trained, conditioned to push, push, push. Yeah, and then there is soul and gifting you with procrastination and something else. And, and pushing no longer really works because we do not need to be at a certain point on a timeline. It is about divine timing. Mm. And divine timing is not about a date or a time on a clock in 3D linear time. It is about matching frequency. And when you do your inner work and seemingly getting nowhere and suddenly you match the frequency of something on a higher level, you just quantum leap there, no idea how you got there. When you look back, you get an idea how it happened but it is really about divine timing. Be here now, 
And something really, what really works is to remind yourself, be here now. Be, not do, mm -hmm. here, nowhere else, and now. Not in the past, not in the future, worrying about anything, but, and by the way, it is always now. Now is part of eternity. So be here now. When I say this, well, I say this from the heart, my body, my everything knows, okay, we are here now. And then be amazing. Amazing, yes, we all are amazing. Beyond our imagination. And be yourself, because we only can be ourselves. And with this, in my sometimes, well, difficult 3D challenges, I just remind myself, be here now, breathing, arriving in the here and now, my body, my heart. Mm, be here now. Incredible. Amazing. Be amazing. Yeah. Meaning I allow myself my amazingness that the outside world told me does not exist. Mm. And then be yourself. Who else can I be? I can only be myself. And this is the gift. God's gift to this world is me, is you, is each of us, when we are ourselves. And part of this is daring to be in our truth. And truth, when we look around us, is the main missing ingredients in this world, in this mad world. This mad and world. if we found our own, when we find our own truth within our heart, together with our soul and source, and then we can stand in our truth, then we are grounded and we, are, we have boundaries and we connect to the earth and to soul and source and go from there. We stand in our truth. And that is where authentic power comes from. Thank you. That was, and from there, that was a beautiful anything. transmission. Anything is possible, right? Um, I want to ask you, I want to follow up on what you're saying, Anna. <clears throat> and by the way, her name is capital A and N capital A. It's kind of cool. So Anna, with what you're saying, with the divine timing, and I, I'll just say this about procrastination. I don't do it much, but I'm human. Yes, of course. Now and then. And I know, like I know, like I know, on the other side of procrastination is the greatest feeling of freedom and creation. Always. Right? And I don't know, we all have different things in our minds that stop us, prevent us. And I know that procrastination is different than overwhelm because I've had both. Overwhelm mm -hmm. is just, there's too much on my plate. And I literally don't know quite how to get to everything. And then something needs to shift, right? Something needs to change or I need to start saying no or letting go of things. That's different. But procrastination is that I'm highly aware of something that needs to get done. And there's usually a timeline involved and I'm just ignoring it, which only creates pressure. It doesn't go away. It's actually really <laughs> uncomfortable. So yes, agreed. I think, and I think there's so much flow on the other side. So I know you're a believer in flow and synchronicity. Can you give some examples with the work you do, either from your life or clients' lives of flow and synchronicity? It is actually the result of the work. So somebody has an obstacle, something to work on, and sometimes even physical pain or disease stuff, and looking for the root cause of whatever they're struggling with or ailing from, and going deeper and, and wider. And so I'm always asking to the root cause of whatever we are dealing with. And from there, things can be seen and can be released and can be rewritten in the quantum. So this not only changes, as with many work, um, like, like family constellations and, and QHHT and, and the like, yeah. 
uh, it changes your life, it changes the life of your future ancestries, and it changes back in your in your ancestries. And it so flow. Any kind of say pain, obstacle, whatever is sort of a, a, a knot, a blob in your energy flow. And when we with the intention to to solve to solve it, to dissolve it, to transcend it, it is done. I cannot explain it. And people asking and some giving me incredible testimonials explaining me what I did to me what I did <laughs> because it, it's different any every time because mm -hmm. every client is different situation is different and I invite you just to to attune to it and if you're not sure about if say if you feel attracted but not sure you can have a clarity call with me and we can check is this the right thing for you and if so, what especially do you need at this point in your life Beautiful. on your evolutionary journey? So let me give people a URL there since you're going to make that really generous offer. Um, go to quantumwayofbeing.com slash brilliance. So you can do a consult call with Anna. And Anna, just, this just feels appropriate right now. Um, and we are... I'm going to ask you if you would give us a very brief, doesn't have to be long, maybe five minutes, three minutes uh, experience. And specifically what I'm looking for is for people who are watching and listening who have an issue and they'll all be different. Can you take mm -hmm. us through something so we can transcend that and instead live in a miraculous space? And having said that, here's my caveat. People are watching on YouTube. People are listening on podcasts. However, this also goes to radio. And because radio cannot have silence or they'll think something is damaged with the program, if it's possible, Anna, <laughs> to not have silence, but to keep talking us through, that would be spectacular. Would that be okay? Uh, I don't know where to start. There's so... <laughs> Basically, yes. I don't know exactly... Uh... Should we flow? And synchronize <laughs> just and you and you're welcome to if it makes it easier for you because i don't want to put you on the spot but if it feels good right and light um focus you know you could fo use me as your every man every woman your conduit and then i will be a generator for everybody how does that sound oh maybe if it's okay for you uh, you be my guinea pig and you share what you want to focus on what you have an issue with, struggling with, and I focus on this and see where we get. Hmm. Is okay. that okay? Or is it too much? Doesn't need to be something big. I am going through some really big things right now and tremendous change. Um, and so I am going to have a shift in where I live. Um, and that also concurrently is a shift in other circumstances in my life. And so that's a lot of what I've been using the quantum for at night to envision this home and a safe place and at a price that feels really good. And, you know, all the things I want and, you know, my dog and I are happy and all this stuff. So um, yeah, that would be great. That would be a great place to start. Because on top of, I'm in shaman school, I've got a podcast, I run my coaching <laughs> business, I have so much happening, so much life. And then on top of it, to be looking, searching for places, driving there, it's it feels, it's not comfortable. I'm doing it, I'm showing up. I know God will take care of me. The goddess is there. I'm loved, I'm seen, I'm held. But it also energetically and emotionally is a lot because there is an ending of something that is creating this new beginning. Mm -hmm. you're in the doing mode so you uh, change into the state of being there is 
and yeah, we are human, we became human doings. So you are in the doing mode, habitually, we all are. So, and then you go into the state of being. And in the state of being, you just are. Your busy mind can rest. And you are in the receiving mode. Because with all that you are facing at the same time, you, you don't know what you don't know. So you plan from the old knowledge and what you can imagine. And when you dream bigger, you know how, it's beyond your imagination. So surrender to your soul, to your guidance, and know it will be incredible. And this really, I, I feel for you. There is so much potential. And at this very moment, you are literally taking not one quantum leap, you are multi-quantum leaping, so to speak, because it is so many aspects of your life simultaneously. And when you try to figure out and get it done in, in the physical, you're overworked. It's far too much. And you, you get sort of in the way of yourself because your team says, Debbie, relax. Just re allow to receive. And maybe when you just um, allow yourself procrastinating and are not on time with something, and by the way, this is what really <laughs> happened to me lately again and again. I had some clients lined up, uh, mentoring clients, weekly clients. And I felt, actually, I do need two days off or something different for my inner work. Guess what? Everybody canceled. So we postponed the session. And maybe you allow yourself to say, okay, please guides, team, by the way, I have a virtual, virtual team. Everybody has a VA and I have virtual, virtual VAs on cloud nine. And say, hey guys, you know much better than I do, please arrange it. I'm ready for miracles, for any kind of unexpected stuff. Expect the unexpected. Because all these things, the further we go, along this line with earth, things become more and more unpredictable. And what is the essence of human beings? Human beings are made in the image of God and we are creator beings. And the essence of a human being is being creative, being unpredictable and being humorous. So when you just attune to this essence of hu being human, being creative, unpredictable, meaning you cannot plant and you are able to flow with it and take it with humor. And know it does work out beyond your imagination. There. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I've been incorporating some of that, but that is, that is, uh, well, it's beyond a reminder. It's. Well, I mean, actually it is like, let go and let God. Totally. Yeah. And God has a plan for you, a very big one. Much bigger you could imagine, even though you have such beautiful big dreams, mm -hmm. it's going much bigger in a different way, much bigger and so much needed. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I really receive all of that. And I hope that helped other people too, who may be feeling, you know, they've got a change going on or a challenge going on, and they can incorporate the same wisdom that Anna shared into their situation. Um, that is my greatest hope. And Anna, I know that you are uh, living in the Black Forest in Germany. And it, are there a lot of people there who are into what you do, who are metaphysical? What is it like there? Well, actually, I'm in the middle of nowhere. And um, I really enjoy it. Literally in the middle of nowhere, in, at, the, at the outskirts of a village next to the, to the forest. And um, I was guided to online business about six, seven years ago to look into it. 
And that is where I find my people, my tribe, my clients. Because around here is lovely people, but they are in, in, into very normal stuff. They're nice neighbors, and but that's all. But yeah, I enjoy it. I'm very grateful to be here, being guided to this place and hold the, the frequency, the space here and work with clients worldwide. Mm. Well, that's nice. I love that you're in a place that you sync with, that that you resonate mm -hmm. with. Um, that's beautiful. And yeah, I love that idea of peace as well, living in a really peaceful place. Um, I know you've said there's no set curriculum or X steps, instructions on how to navigate the quantum field. You reconnect to your soul-directed quantum GPS, which mm -hmm. enables you to enter the flow and navigate uncharted territories as needed. Can you tell me some of the details about one's soul's quantum GPS? There is no details. What it is, is really you sink into your heart space, your consciousness, connect with your soul, and go from there. And from there, and you connect with source and with the earth. And from there, you connect to your soul's knowledge, vast soul's knowledge and, and beyond at the pace you and your body can handle. And this kind of knowledge is rather knowing. You tapping into the eternal knowing that your soul is connected to. And you get the downloads, the information, the very moment you need it, like a light bulb moment or an epiphany, something like this. And synchronicities abound. It just so happens. So what it's really it? nothing for... Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. It's nothing you can understand with your linear left brain mind. It is you can comprehend it with your with the body and and your mental and emotional uh, system. So it's not the mind. Your mental system is different, and you attune to it. That's different. So it's nothing here. It's just like you attune to it. So like I'm, I'm reading people, I'm not really reading, I attune to it and their guides communicate through me what my client needs to know. And this can, anybody can do this, it's practice. We have to unlearn all the crap we have been programmed with. Have you always been like this? Were you always able to perceive what was happening in someone else's space? Yes, um, I turned it off because <laughs> I heard people's thoughts and replying to this and I had a terrible experience with, with a boss in a company. So he was uh, known for, he was just walking through all the, the area and talking to himself. And sometimes there was a question and I heard the question, but it was not a question. He was questioning something that he tried to sort of hide. And I was replying. That was not a good thing. So, um, yeah, I, I shut it off at this time. But I learned, uh, said, I, I need to know. I'm, I'm willing to need. I'm willing to perceive what I need to know for myself and in my work with clients. Everything else I don't want to know. Hmm. it's too much. What was the transition then? Cause that's a big deal. I get it. What was the transition between you shutting that down, that ability, that gift and coming back into it and allowing it, receiving it back into your life? How did you decide or what happened that caused those increments to be where you are right now? Well, it happened um, around 2000. Yeah, I think it was 2000 when I came across a spiritual school, spiritual school of ascension, and I joined. And it was really like coming home on the physical plane and learning there how to undo all of this and, and tapping really into my, my channel. And somewhere in between, I also learned channeling. Hmm. And with this channeling, I also learned 
be be clear what you want to receive and really check what who or what you are channeling and be very specific and have have boundaries and this is one thing that many of the so-called empaths are struggling with they don't have boundaries and they're receiving the broadcast from everyone around them they don't know how to handle this and this is something i support my clients with also and this also is by the way this link to the brilliance that is a three months group mentoring i'm offering starting in june yeah okay talk about that what how do people work with you uh, what kind of work do you offer and you know tell tell us about that so i have this group mentoring starting in june three months 13 weeks and we are working through different topics it is two groups one for say from uh, New Zealand to Central Europe and Central Europe to Pacific because of the time zones. Mm -hmm. And well, there is certain topics I focus on, but each group is different and I attune to the people in this group. So that is one thing, this group mentoring. And otherwise I do have uh, one on one mentoring, 12 weeks, and I offer some special work it's called the uh, crucial point sessions it is a series of three to get to the crucial point of an issue and i learned over the years one session is a good thing but oftentimes there is something deeper or something more so when you have three sessions in a row three weeks you really get it done mm. That, I think that's really true for most people. I was just saying that last night to somebody. I know that he hired somebody uh, to work on something specific and, you know, saying, so how did it go? And I know this person he worked with is amazing, but, you know, I still think, especially when you have like a pervasive issue, look, miracles, we all know it could be like this. So let me just say <laughs> in advance, anybody can discreate anything like this. Absolutely. And it could be one session, but I do think for most people, when you have something pervasive, ongoing, it's been with you, you you've tried everything, it's probably good to book three sessions and just really commit to handling whatever's going on. So I, I very much believe in it. And I was just saying this last night to somebody. I want to know, um, are there any other ways that people work with you that we should know about? And are you going to procrastinate well, if, on your book or are you going to get it done? Ha <laughs> ha. Now you have to join my book writing it, group. I, I will. I'm I, I'm already connected with you. So yeah, I will go deeper with this. So what I also do, uh, I do not really uh, promote this widely. I do energy work, like clearing work, mm. because oftentimes in, in really difficult situations, um, we come to a point when there is some kind of attachments, like um, implants, entities, you name it. And I do this for people, pets, houses, and places. Wow. That's awesome, because I and, know the power of that word. And it can be really deep stuff, because um, over the years, again and again, I came across uh, some abuse stuff, in in a mentoring uh, package and then yeah we have to work on this so this is part of this package and sometimes um, this person re talks about it to a friend and they said maybe there's something weird with this too with me and i can do this and always i have this uh, clarity call up front to check what do you need if do you need this 60 90 minutes energy call energy clearing or what what do you need just to start with something and with this sometimes you get really to to the root cause of some health issue because it's energetic it, it can be a curse a spell or something from a past life hmm. fascinating very yeah. cool what ritual do you do anna do you have a daily practice that you engage in that keeps you centered in the flow of magic and miracles and all of that? 
Yeah, very simple, too simple for many people. It is really a uh, breathing, long, slow, deep breath mm. to the bottom of the diaphragm. It takes a while to get there. And then you keep breathing sideways. People are amazed. Oh, sideways is so deep and then sideways. And then you keep breathing to the tips of your lung under the collarbone. And then you let go. And you do this at your own pace, a couple of times, three, five times. And this helps you, well, it gives you more oxygen. And the breathing brings you in the here now and into the body. And then you connect to the heart space. And if it's not already done, you sink your consciousness to your heart space. Expand it in your heart space. Feel your body, your field. And then you connect to soul and bring into your body, into your heart space, the highest version of your soul your body can hold today. Because otherwise the body might be overwhelmed. So you connect this, feel it, expand soul in your body, in your field, feel it, the difference. And if you're working on something, you always already can bring in your guides for this specific topic but before you should connect to earth you sink your consciousness to the center of the earth the heart of the earth connect with earth mother feel her loving presence feel how you are part of the earth and bring the consciousness of earth into your heart space so there is your consciousness your soul your guide the earth and you go from there and but and with this you are centered, you are grounded, and being centered and grounded, you have boundaries that hold. And if you have boundaries, there is no fear, no nothing. You just, you are. You are really in your power, in your authentic power. So it doesn't take long, and I do it again and again, and I highly recommend it. It is too simple for some people like... There's beautiful breathing work, breath work. But if you are in a challenging situation, you, you forget how to do all this wonderful breathing. Just this deep breathing, because this kind of breathing really disrupts patterning. We're not used to it. Really deep, and then sideways, and then upways. And then, here I am. Here you are. Thank you for that. Anna, this is Dare to Dream. What are you next, Dare to Dream? What are your future dreams or quantum desires? It's really to bring all in of this into a book. I was told by my guides, and I know that you are a beautiful coach on this as well. And I already connected with you. So yes, this needs to be brought to a larger audience. That is my next big dream. And you'll be pleased to know, Synchronicity, that we meet twice a month on Zoom and we start at 11 a.m. Pacific time, which for you, for where you are, is actually a decent time. So yeah, I highly appreciate this. <laughs> I know you do. And thank you so much for bringing this information to the show today. I'm so grateful you're in my life and doing the work you are to help so many people on the planet. It's been a pleasure, Anna. Pleasure to be with you and share this with all the people. Nice. If you want to connect more deeply and learn more or get that free consult with Anna Leverance, go to quantumwayofbeing.com slash brilliance. I end today's show with a quote from Kimberly and Foster Gamble's Thrive to Documentary. We don't always get in life what we dream about, but we do get what we tolerate. You see, if everyone mm -hmm. got what they dream about, then everyone's dreams would instantly be here right now. But we do receive our minimum standard. That's a guarantee. So when I'm working with people, I'm always asking them, what's your dream? What's your vision? Because your current reality is a direct reflection of everything that you are tolerating right now. 
when we look around the world at our current reality, what are we tolerating? Why? Getting in touch with what's mm-hmm. possible and tuning ourselves to a greater resonance has beckoned humanity throughout the ages. Subscribe to this number one transformation conversation, Dare to Dream with Debbie Dashinger. Please send this to somebody you know who needs to hear this and leave a comment and share. Next week on the show, I'm featuring the amazing Pamela Pacetti. She's a healer and a lawyer assisting with the trauma surrounding separation and divorce. Pamela shares the hidden love story of divorce, including the soul family and soul contract. I highly recommend you tune in. It's a very, we're living in amazing times where people offer things at this level on subjects we never even considered. But I've had conversations with Pamela and I can tell you, it's going to be information you've never heard before and will really help you if you're separating. So my friends, remember to dare to dream and remember what our dear Anna Leverin said, dreaming often can be a limitation So go way beyond and allow yourself to embrace your brilliance, magnificence, and authentic power. Thank you so much for being with us today.